Hi, welcome to Computer Classroom. I'm Mark Boyle, and today we're going to learn how to make a bootable USB drive so you can install Linux on your computer. Why would you want to make a bootable USB drive? A bootable USB drive is a way to install a new OS on your system, and it's also a way to, to use the OS without installing it onto your system. For those who don't already know, OS stands for Operating System. It's the graphical front end on your computer that helps you run a computer's basic functions. The most well-known of these are Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. Today we're going to focus on making a Linux bootable USB because it works better because they're a lighter weight software. Linux isn't one OS per se, but it's more of a tree of different ones. Each different variant is called a distro. They focus more on command line interfacing than ease of use and are very good for experienced computer users. It can be a bit of a steep learning curve though. A new OS can revitalize an old computer like our test box here. Windows 10, for example, requires 4 gigabytes of DRAM. For an old PC, this is quite demanding. Putting a new light OS on your computer can make it better and faster to use. It also gives you a choice of what you want your computer's front end to look like. With all that said, let's begin our process. To begin with, you're going to need one computer to make the bootable USB drive on and one computer to put it into. Today we're going to be using the Acer R15 laptop running Windows 10 to create our bootable USB. You can do this on Linux as well, but we're going to focus on Windows today. The first step is to download Rufus. Rufus is a fast, free, and open source way to make a bootable USB from an ISO. ISOs are typically available from the developer's website, often in the download section, but your mileage may vary there. Today we're going to be using Zorin OS, which is a free, lightweight operating system based on Debian Linux. So first you're going to choose the device you're going to use, and then you're going to hit select over on the right hand side, and you're going to find the ISO that you plan on using, hit open. All of these settings should be fine, and then just in the bottom right hand side, hit start, and it will begin to make a bootable USB drive. So your next step is going to be to shut down your computer. And you're going to want to shut it down here. You're going to want to plug in your USB drive to any port. Anything will work. And then once your computer has completely shut down, as you can see here, you're going to turn it back on. And you are going to spam the F12 key as fast as you can. It might be a different key, but most computers use F12 for their boot options menu. So now it's going to open up the boot options menu, and you have all of the, the ways that you can boot from the computer. You're going to choose a USB device or whatever your USB is going to be named. So as you can see, Zorin OS is booting here, and it's going to open a menu that's going to ask you if you want to install or just use it off the USB. I'm Mark Boyle. This has been Computer Classroom. Thanks for watching.